Welcome to iMyMapUser from iMyMapUser.com. Today I'll be showing you how you can add images to your iMyMap mind map. So let's have a look at how we add images to our mind maps in iMyMap. First of all, why do we use images? Now, it's important to understand that as human beings, we think in pictures. We can think about words, we can create sentences, we can read words, but in terms of core ideas, we think in pictures. And if you're not sure whether you believe me or not, what do we think about before writing was invented? So, is it, so with that, the human brain thinks in pictures. So when we use pictures, we're more in tune with the way our brains naturally work. The other thing about using pictures, it gives us a very efficient way of putting across information, makes it more accessible to people. So a picture speaks a thousand words. And finally, it's going to make it more memorable and more engaging. So there are lots of benefits of why we should be using images. Now, there are different types of images. You've got branch images. These are images that are actually linked to and attached to a particular branch. You've got floating images, which are images you can move around the map. There are sketches, so you can actually draw your own. And there are little icons that you can add. And we're not going to go into any depth in these last two. We're going to focus on these two here to show you how to do that. So where might you get these images from? Well, there are two sources. The first is your hard drive. If you've got images, photographs, pictures you want to put onto your map, you can do that, and I'll show you how. The other source is there is a very extensive image library within iMyMap, and I'm going to show you how you can use that. So let's have a look at the different ways you can add the image. And I'm going to show you the different ways of doing this. You don't have to use all of them. You'll find one that, is, that, it, that you will find um, easiest to, for you to use. I'm just showing the different options so that you can choose. First of all is a floating menu. Now what a floating menu is this. If you click on a branch, like this one here, you'll see this menu pops up like that. And you can do all sorts of things with this. But we're interested in this icon there. When I click that icon, now first of all just notice that there's no word on that branch there. So when I click that icon, what happens? It opens up the image library. So here is blank. So let's say I wanted a picture of a dog. I just type in dog, press return, and it will search the database and will give me a whole load of examples of dogs. So if I wanted, let's say for example, I wanted this one here, and highlight that with the mouse so it's surrounded by blue, press, press, <laughs> press insert, and there we now have the image attached to the branch. Now by putting my mouse on it and drag it, I can move it around, but it's still going to be associated with that branch. If I want to change the size, you see these little squares around it. If I click on the corner one, hold it down, and then move it, I can adjust the size of the branch. So, uh, that was how you, that's very quickly how you can add an image. Now, uh, there was no word on there. When there is, it really does help you. So if I click on this, now I'm draw up the floating menu, click on that, you'll notice that the word table has been put in there and automatically it picks up the examples of table within its database. If I wanted that one, I just click on there, press insert and automatically it's there. If I want to move it around, I can just by dragging and dropping with the mouse and I can change the size. Now I mentioned earlier on that there are uh, floating images and branch images. These are branch images which means when I collapse the branch by clicking on that minus sign there, they disappear with the collapse. If I want them back, I just bring them there. So that's how you can do with what's called the floating menu. Another way of doing it is by right-clicking the branch. When you right-click the branch, you have this menu come up, and then you can insert and insert a branch image. Now, by doing this, this then pulls up the explorer on your hard drive. So this is how you import images from your own computer. So you haven't accessed the image library. By doing that you've accessed the um, your hard drive. So let's say I want to go into this folder and pick one of these. Let's say we pick that one and open that and then it'll put that in there like so. And again I can change that size and move it around. So that's what you do when you right click the branch. Now another way of getting to the um, images is if you want more images on your hard drive you can use the menu bar if you come up to the top here you've got insert so let's just select the branch insert branch image and once again it opens up the access to the files on your computer just cancel that if you want to do it with the library identify highlight the branch there come up to not insert this time, what you come up to is the, so I'm, just, I'm just highlighting the branch again, is the view image library and it draws it up there. 
Okay, that's what you need to do there. So um, that's how you bring that back up. So if you just go back to View and My Map. Now the other thing I want to do is the drop down menu. Same sort of functionality up here. You've got Insert and you can insert the um, branch image and that will call up the images on your hard drive. Or what you can do is go to View and draw up the image library as we've done before. Now floating image, if you want a floating image you click on the branch, uh, in fact all you do is just press insert floating image and you can choose one of those from there. Again same thing, let's say we choose thumbs up, open that and it puts the floating image at the top of the screen here so now I can drag this anywhere I want it. Let's say I want to associate it with this over here, Remember it's a floating image now, when I click that and hide those that is still appears so that you know that's a floating image so that's how you can add floating images to your map so very quickly that's just how we've um, we can add images there are different types of images you can get from different parts of either your computer or within the software itself you can use the floating menu you can right click the branch you can use the main menu bar which is the bar up here or you can use the drop down menu and you can add floating images if you don't want your image associated with the branch. So, I hope you've enjoyed that and I look forward to sharing more about iMyMap in another video with you. That was another tip, trick or technique for getting the most from Buzan's iMyMap from iMyMap user at www.imymapuser.com If you don't have a copy of the software, simply click on the link below this video right now to get your free 7 day trial.